And then finally, we need to convert mass measures. But again, we're still using the same um, prefixes, the same numerical values, that same mnemonic device. It doesn't matter. The only difference here now is our base units or our original units have changed to grams instead of liters or what we used earlier was meters. We're still going to be using that same mnemonic device which was kids have dropped over for our original units dead converting metrics. So here we have 5.2 kilograms. So kilo would start here. And if I want to move to grams, that's our original units. So that'd be one, two, three places to the right. So we would move, move oops, my computer just moved on me a little bit there. One, two, three places to the right. So that would be 5,200 grams. Now if we want to convert 0.85 grams into milligrams, grams is starting out with original units. To convert over to milligrams, we would have to go one, two, three places to the right. So likewise, we would go one, two, three places to the right. So that would be 850 milligrams. And lastly, here we have 30,000 milligrams, and we're going to convert that over to grams. So if we start here at milli, and we go to grams, which is original units, we would go one, two, three places to the left. So that would be one, two, three places to the left would put us at 30 grams. Now that is a very quick and easy way to convert the most basic of metrics. Now we can use dimensional analysis and that's a you know a little bit more advanced. For right now though, I just wanted you to feel comfortable in moving the decimal around to actually convert within the metric system itself.